every time I think about this, I get a different answer. It's a bit like Desert Island Discs and being tried to choose a... What watch would I like to own? Um, there's a very funky watch in the Patek Philippe uh, Stern Museum in Switzerland made by a watchmaker called Thomas Lumens in London in the 1650s. And it's a very complicated watch. It's got um, time and tide and the position of the zodiac in the stars and a lot of other complex features into a relatively small watch that was made by somebody who was carving the teeth out by hand almost. You know, they were there making their own saw blades, making their own tools, and yet they were capable of such complex watchmaking in the mid 17th century. Um, makes what we do today not look difficult, I think. Um, I wear one of the first Robin watches we made with the Smith's movement inside. Um, and um, it just makes me smile. Um, and it's the trivial things about it that make me smile when I look at it. Other people look at the de overall design and all the rest of it. Um, for me, one of the things that makes me smile the most is the fact that we make the gaskets for it. And um, we had to turn these little nylon gaskets to get the sapphire to sit correctly in the place. Um, and that I took the time to sit down, research what the best nylons are for the job, um, find some people who were skilled at turning nylon and uh, when it finally came down to it the guys who were doing the job said look we're not going to actually program a machine to do this we're just going to get one of our experienced guys to do them by hand um, and these are tolerance at oh, what is it 0.02 millimeters or something it's extraordinarily fine tolerance and I said, you're really going to get somebody to just sit by a lathe and hand turn them? And he said, yeah, it'd be the quickest way. He said, we'll get a few that go in the bin. But he said, if we try and set it up to run as a CNC programme, he said, it will go wrong because nylon behaves strangely. Um, and so ours are hand turned by craftsmen as opposed to mass stamped out in China somewhere. <laughs>